Hello, it is Aga from Arvis Artist. We see each other for the first time in 2021. I'm sure we can make this year great, so let's start from the one of the most important topics, the camera setup. I show you my process of setting up the camera. Camera setup is one of the first things we do when creating the image. Let me show you how I do this. I've already prepared the scene, so let's take a look. It's the scene of the residential space. It has a lot of potential to create cameras. We can create the shot of the kitchen, the dining room, the balcony, living room or the staircase, for instance. However, today I would like to concentrate particularly on the living room. When trying setting up the camera, I always try to get to know the space. I try to look at this from different perspectives, so I know where the potential for the shot is. Will it be better to look from the right side or maybe the left side? Maybe I want to show the connection between the living room and the balcony. Or maybe a totally opposite direction? So basically, this is the moment for the idea, to have the plan for the shot. I think here it will be great to make the viewer feel that he or she is part of the space. I would love to show the relation between the sofa and table set and the fireplace. For this reason, I will create the camera towards the fireplace. I use the Corona camera, but it doesn't really matter. It works similarly for V-Ray, just the naming is slightly different. As I said, I want to show the connection of the space. So I put the camera somewhere here. I click C to see how the shot looks like. Definitely, it's not like I would love to, but we need to start somewhere, right? First of all, we need to turn on the same frames to see the view correctly. The shortcut is Shift plus F. You can turn it on here as well. As you can see, we need to adjust the height of the camera. Now it's on level zero. In general, I prefer lower cameras. Here, I like to make the viewer feel that he's sitting on the couch and he's the part of the scenario. I think something around one meter will be fine. We can of course move it higher and make the impression that we look at the space from the standing position, but it won't be in line with my idea. As I said previously, I want to make it more like a sitting position. And I think that low shots will be more beneficial in this case, so I leave one meter camera height. Okay, so we have something like this. Now we can test different ratios, and this typically is my next step. So we can make it more panoramic, so we won't see much of the floor and ceiling, or make it more vertical. In this case, we would need to adjust the focal length, as now it looks really unnatural, and move the camera closer to the objects we want to have in the shot. But because I want to see more of the space, not the close-up, the horizontal view will work better. I think we can start with ratio 1.3. Okay, now we can work with the focal length. If you want to learn more about the focal length, watch my video on this topic. I put the link in the corner. In general, focal length tells us how much of the space will be captured. The shorter the focal length, a wider view of the scene it captures. On the other hand, the longer the focal length, the objects are brought closer, so the angle of view is narrower. In general, if we want to make a close-up, the higher values of focal length will be better. Let me quickly demonstrate how it will be, as I showed you before with the vertical view. It looks much more natural than before. And then we could, for instance, move it to see more of the fireplace. Ok, I will go back to the previous setup. In the interiors, value 24mm is typically a good starting point, but here I will go with the longer focal length, something like this. Because I don't want to see the whole space and I want to make a more intimate effect. Also, I don't want to make it too dynamic, so the flatter image will work better here. 
However, I will go back with the camera a bit to make the impression that the viewer sits on the couch as I said at the beginning. You may notice that I have the idea in my head all the time and each of my decisions is based on this. Okay, so we can see the sofa in front of us and the coffee table. I will move it back slightly to see more of the table. We don't need to always see every object as a whole. We can cut them. So I will move it left to see a bit of the sofa corner. This way, again, it looks more like closed space. It gives an impression that the space is more private. We're reading it as a whole. Also, we need to always keep composition in mind. So by moving it left, we have the painting lamp more or less in one third, which is good. In the two thirds is the painting. And the floor also is more or less in line with the composition rules. Now, of course, if we need to, we can move some objects to make the composition more balanced. I think that it will be good to see more of the space at the sides, so I will make it more horizontal. Let's try 1.4. Maybe 1.5. Okay, it's better. And we don't see the ceiling, which is better here. I will move it slightly back to give a little bit of air at the bottom. If we have a situation like this, we can use the trick. At the bottom of the camera setting is the clipping option. We can control here if the camera view is clipped or not. It doesn't really matter here, as I want my camera to be closer, but I want to make sure all of you know this trick. Ok, we can move it back to the left. We can move the camera slightly. To adjust the camera by moving it in the viewport, you need to hold the scroll wheel and move the mouse at the same time. If you want to move it in one line, you need to additionally hold shift. So we'll see more of the right hand side. Setting up the camera is a really important topic. This is why it's the whole chapter in my book, The Art of Arvis Images. At the end, I want to remind you about the challenge I've announced in the last video. If you haven't watched it yet, be sure you check it out. Anyway, I want to wish you all the best in New Year and I hope you will join my challenge. See you in the next video!